How you doing? Welcome back to your channel. Listen, can you see the look on my face? Did I just turn you down or no? Anywho, we're going to sit and talk to you guys because, okay, good background, you know, I always try to give you background and the best lighting possible. I have every single light in the house on for you, okay? So, trust the process, sis, brother. Trust your girl's process. Trust my vision sometimes, even if you don't agree with my vision. First of all, first and foremost, rewind. How rude of me. How are you doing today? Hopefully, great, amazing, absolutely fantastic, above the moon. I'm coming to you with, I'm trying to give you good energy. I'm trying to give you happy Sharon, even though underneath this is nervousness, yet positivity, yet I send out into the universe what I'll expect to get back. And today is a little bit of a, a bit, it's been a, a very stressful, a very grandmother worry, 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 okay, grandmother worrisome, worrisome, I don't even know if that's a freaking word, we're going to use it, kind of a grandmother worrious, worry day, okay, my youngest grandson, I haven't mentioned this, but since um, birth, this is my youngest grandson, so he's one, um, they have been monitoring um, a spot that was kind of on his lung esophagus area, and they've been monitoring since he was in his mom's womb, my oldest daughter, and um, they knew that at some point, if it continued to grow, that they would have to go in and take it out, and they felt the younger he was, the better, because long story short, had it continued to grow with him, it would have caused um, a lot of major stuff as far as pushing <coughs> his organs around. So, today was the day, <clears throat> this morning. Um, so, my daughter, and because of COVID, the only people allowed is, of course, his parents. And I understand that because it's at a children's hospital. You don't want to, you know, go in and run the risk of, you know. So, I totally get it. So, um... Me and her sisters have, I've been keeping everybody informed. Like, she give me the update, I send them the update of what's going on with him. So, he's, and it was a pretty intense surgery, um, about four hours. And they're doing two procedures in one. Um, I think the first serious part of the surgery since I last, her last update was that that part was done. And now they're working on the minor part of the surgery. So I think it's been about four hours of just sheer stress. So I've been trying to keep 1,000% busy to keep my mind off of it. Just constantly um, sending prayers, vibes, and the whole nine that, you know, he's a tough little cookie. I swear that boy been here before. Um, and that's Nolan, in case you guys can't keep up <laughs> with seven of my grandbabies. But I think everything is going to be, no, not think. I know everything is going to be fine. I'm just waiting on the final update. Um, he will have to spend a week in the hospital after the surgery today. Um, yeah, so that's kind of been my, my night leading up to my morning, just really trying to center myself and send out that positive energy for her and her husband and just, you know, being calm and not stalking out in the parking lot, basically. <laughs> so I've been pretty busy. That being said, I already know you guys, my family members, will jump right on it. You'll send him positive vibes. Always, this is life. This is life. And I tell you guys all the time, I try to find the most positive thing in some of the most serious or sad situations. And um, 
I, I trust that the doctors feel that it was necessary to do it while he was one as opposed to letting something complicate later on down the road, okay? So far as I know, as of right now, as a feminist video, last update was that he they were on the second part, the most minor part of the surgery. And then I'll get um, a final update, hopefully by the time I get done recording this video. So, moving on to a more positive more happier situation. I know my baby will be just fine because baby, baby, I told you I'm centered with that universe and I'm telling you, I just, I don't, as a grandmother, naturally I feel, oh, because he had to be put on a breathing machine while they do the surgery, you know, it, it, it's just a lot. But I know in my heart of hearts that he's going to be just fine. He's a little old man at heart. Um, on to something else though, right? Who got a couch in their office? Who? Who you say? Let me let me go find her. What? Who you say? What? No. She, her, me. Uh, yes, in the office. Okay. And for those of my skeptics that was like Sharon, I think a couch is going to be too much. Why don't you do some chairs? Yada yada yada. Trust Sharon's process in the bank. Okay. When I tell you this is the most girliest the most happiest place and by the way well I've, I've already taken it into the office currently dimples is in the office working because i needed him here because i knew when the chair came when i went and got the chair rather and that um i was going to need him to help me lift it which was perfect because i went no 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 hold up let me rewind i got a phone call and it was from an odd number but i've been answering all phone calls um, because I don't know, you know, who's calling from where, and I just want to be, you know, I didn't know if it was a hospital call, just, you know, just staying on my game. So I've been asked for all calls, even those that I don't know. And it's a weird number. And it, I said, hello. And the young lady said, uh, yes, I'm trying to reach Sharon. And I said, this is she. She said, this is <clears throat> whatever her name is from the at home store. She said, there was a little bit of confusion. I, I think I may have spoken with you. A few days ago and I want to offer you my sincere apology about the whole couch situation we actually have a couch in the box in the back that you were down here for and I said um, let me go back on the, on the website let me get the measurements because I have a feeling that I can get it in my truck and so when I measured it initially out of the box, it would not have fit. It wouldn't, wouldn't have fit. So I actually went, when she said that, I said, listen. <laughs> she said, no, 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 no. Like, I'm dead serious. Like, it's here. It's in a box. I can put your name on it. Take it up front. The whole nine. So when I did the measurements, I said, well, if it comes in a box, then I can take it out the box and put it in, in my truck that way and she said well even if um even if it's not in the box you did look at another one that you said was a little bit bigger than the one you were originally looking for and she said I don't know if that one would work for you but we would sell it to you at the price of the one you actually wanted in the event and that one is on the showroom floor, and we will take it apart so that it'll fit in your vehicle. How courteous. Of, I don't know if they watch my videos, or one of y'all done call down there, or what. But I was blown away. Now, that's customer service. Okay, that is, shout out to you at the at-home store. Shout out to you. I apologize from the depths of my heart because I was angry and hurt. But I actually went and went back to the u-haul place and i said just in case right and the u not a u-haul it was a utility what they call them cargo vans it would have been 67 dollars not counting the gas that i would have had to put back in the vehicle um to rent it to go get it right so after carefully remeasuring and them saying that they would take it apart we're gonna make it work your trunk i'm sure it's big enough in your vehicle or whatever told her what i drove blah 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 so I didn't go get the van. I'm so glad I didn't because the box, it came in a box, brand spanking new, and the box, you guys, slid right in the back of my truck. 
trunk went down, it was literally like this much room from the edge of the box and the back of my back seats in the front. So like a perfect fit. Okay. It's in the office. She's in the office, y'all. Dimples is in there working. And so when I went and got it, it came back, it took a break, came, lifted that sucker up the steps. I tell you, everything now that you think is of poor quality, weight wise, it's like literally lifted a freaking house. And then when you live all the way up here on the penthouse, it's like three times that heavy. And he was like, how in the hell? He said, I struggle with those bookshelves. I cannot imagine you bringing all this other stuff in here by yourself like you're a beast. So we got the couch in there. I put the couch up. Y'all, I cannot wait until he takes his next break. So I can take, well, I don't know if I'll take him in there. Because I kind of want it to be, his always work stuff out. So maybe I'll just wait until he gets it cleaned up. Trust Sharon's process, y'all, please. Trust my process, even if you don't see my vision, right? Okay, it's not your cup of tea. It's not your style. You could totally use my thought process for your own thought process using what it is you love. That's the whole point of giving you guys the penthouse as a whole studio is that you can take what you need and use whatever of it you need. The couch is perfect. Perfect size. It's comfy. It's so freaking girly. Tonight, when he gets off work, it's, it's going to be, I think, the last, well, not the last, but it's the last big order of merch that I'll place an order for tonight. Um, because I've been having to, Listen, this whole entrepreneurship girl is teaching your girl a whole new monster in this way. But I'm excited for it. So I ordered, I've been ordering so much stuff business related wise. So really I'm waiting on inventory, I'm waiting on inventory. I'm waiting on being able to um, photograph it, put it up, organize it, um, and it's a one thing at a time process. This is not an overnight thing, you guys. So don't, if you're looking to, you know, start your own hustle or whatever, unless you can afford to. I mean, don't get me wrong, but it's when you budget things out like I do and you stick within that budget, it's a process. It takes time. It's not an overnight situation. Everything you see in that office, there was a budget for it. And... The process has moved slow, but it's going to work in my favor because I don't want to go back and have to change a bunch of stuff. You know what I mean? I want to get it right the first go round. And so far, sis, bro, I'm loving it. I am absolutely loving it. There's a few things, well, there's quite a few things that I still need or, well, yeah, that I still need for the office. I did go yesterday and almost bought one, but then when I looked at the price, I said, wait a minute. And even even the guy was like, you know what, I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, he said, you will better out, you'll be better off going with the Mac unless you want, um, because literally all they had, I know this whole school work from home with people, and it, it's really slowing down that whole office the end. Okay, that was the quickest move in the world. But it's kind of on the office end of things. There are There is things available, but when you're specific and you're working with, you know, your coinage is, is saying, okay, you need to look over here, sell everything over there. you got to follow what that money saying. You know what I mean? But I was looking at this computer, and I was like, you know, it's cute. It's nice. It wasn't an iMac. But the guy said, this is really what gamers use to game on. Now, you can do... YouTube stuff on it, he said, but for this price of this gaming system computer thing that gamers use, just go buy you an iMac or just a regular non-gaming desktop, um, if that's what you want. He said, and there are some good, uh, you know, regular desktops that are not necessarily iMacs 
that could do the job just fine. Whatever it is you're trying to do, you know. But it was a limited amount in stock. You know, it's always that out of stock tag hanging on everything. So, um, I'm still on the hunt for the right computer because, you know, she ain't electronically savvy and all. But, so I've been ordering stuff, including the merch, um, just stuff for the office, like my professional label printer, all my packaging stuff. Um, I, I ordered a scale this morning. Like, this is no lie. I ordered the scale this morning probably about... I don't know, 8 o'clock from Amazon, when I got back with the couch, the scale was at the house. I said, same day delivery was the scale next door? Well, what, 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 was it already in your truck? Like, <laughs> what? So a lot of things are spaced out that I've ordered. Um, I went in, I'm so behind on stuff, you guys, like, but I'm learning, it's a learning process, and I'm loving every second of it. And I'll be happy to share the process with you guys. Like I told you, I swear I can make a checklist of this, this, this based off my own personal experience. I can make a little pamphlet. Start from here to get here. Literally. In case y'all are wondering, like, why is she only over this way? Nothing's changed, you guys. I can't even focus out here, okay, until... um the most important thing gets done. This this will come, you know. This will come. Not even sweating it or whatever. But I'm so excited about the bank, a.k.a. the office studio. And it's just, it's a gradual process, but I'm loving every moment of the process because there, when I tell you a labor of love and muscle, muscles, when it, if I don't have uh, a natural BBL popping off. I don't know what it is. From them steps and carrying stuff, that is my total full body workout. So, I'm so excited, y'all. The couch is in. So now, basically, I'm on the hunt for my... Why the hell is clear chairs just as much as a regular cutesy chair? Why? Why? It's just clear. A plastic see-through chair. I don't understand. Anywho, I'm going to be looking for, that's like one of the next things that I need to get in there. My, I told you guys, my label printer is on the way. My packaging is on the way. Actual merchandise is on the way. I'm going to put in a super huge order tonight. Um, and then I'll just wait for all that stuff to come. Any other updates that I have to give you guys? Concerning the bank. My life, other than that, life is great. Dimples is still in my life. For those of you that are curious, he is still definitely in my life. Um, and it's a beautiful thing. Um, got me some more flowers, you guys. Look, I've never seen black flowers. Are these spray painted? Do they come black? Like, look at that. Black. So pretty. And the water is pink because when I cut the stems off of here, this one, the inside of it was pink, the root part of it. So that's why the water is pink. I didn't do anything special. But that's what he brought me yesterday. That is always, when I see him walk through the door with those flowers, it just literally takes me back to, I don't know butterflies and butterflies it's just a thoughtful very considerate thing to do um so Ed I know y'all told me I needed to name these girls and boys this is Ed meet Ed another black robot the white robot over here who is charging is Lucy that's Lucy um, I don't know what got in the egg last night. I don't know if he was trying to prove a point to Lucy because she's always coming over there getting him going. For a long time, from the move to here, something was going on with Ed. I'm not sure if he was having, he called a little bit of the virus. I don't know. 
But Ed would literally come off of his mouth and do a three or four circles right in front of the mouth and then go back on the mouth and charge like he's been off the charger all day. I don't know what got into him yesterday, baby. While she was working, Ed came off that mount without no help for her. And Ed took off. He did diagonal patterns in here. She was back there getting stuck. And let me tell you, I think they are in love. Might be a little relationship and kinky kinky going on. Because they both ended up in here in the kitchen. Ed was stuck underneath the refrigerator. And she almost looked like she was trying to help him get unstuck. I'm not even kidding. Dimples was like, look at your kids. Look at your kids. Always got to show out. Both of them ended up in here. He stuck. She bumping them. Bumping them. Bumping them. She couldn't get him loose. So I had to separate them. He went one way. She went one way. But they literally had this carpet just looking like. Yeah, yeah. So, that's really the update. I enjoy chatting with you guys. I enjoy bringing you guys along the process of everything that's going on. I'm excited to share my learned, my mistakes um, with you guys as far as entrepreneurship. Because I want all you guys to succeed in whatever it is, you know, you're trying to do, be it work for yourself, a little bit of a side hustle, whatever the case is. I don't know. I want you guys to all be successful. Um, I'm just so beside myself that I envisioned based off of certain little things. I pulled this inspiration from Pinterest and eh, Instagram a little bit, but not so much so to bring that space to light. I know y'all probably like Sharon enough already. So I think I brought you guys up to speed on kind of where I am. I'm trying to keep my spirits lifted, you know, for Grand Baby and all of that, too. So, shout out to everyone who I already know will send him positive vibes and um, happy healing, a successful healing. I thank you guys so much for that in advance. Um, what else? Yeah, I'll just wait until Dumpus is off work and then I will give you guys an update on where the office is so far and kind of share some of well just kind of share with you a few other things like I said that very few things that I want to add into the space to make it my work girl studio cave and what not so stay tuned to the next clip and um yeah I'll, I'll give you guys a good a good little run through of everything that's going on in the office and believe it or not I know some of you guys could care less but I'm going to share it anyway but this is some of you do and while I was en route to go get my um couch and the entire way my anxiety not only was up for my grandson but it was also up for this girl called me personal for her to have my number saved and to really feel bad about the initial encounter was just like everything to me. Like literally it made my day. Um, but when I was in route down there, one of my, well, he's not one of my, he's actually a new tattoo artist that I have been seeking out who is always booked a year out, okay, actually messaged me and said that he had an opening for what I want done next month. Somebody canceled. He was going to work me in for next month. But I'm like, bro, I have spent so much money trying to get my business off the ground. It wouldn't be a great move. So I'm going to stick to my original appointment that I had with you um, to get some work done or whatever. I'm just going to have to hold out as much as I really want to be in a tattoo chair right now getting a lot of this off of me because it helps. Anywho, stay tuned for the next clip and I will share with you guys where the office is and thus far. I didn't go to what?